Quinners, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Sophia, and I'm Abigail, and we are the Oakland Twins. Don't forget to stay home and <laughs> stay safe lives. Well, that's what we did. <laughs> I'm not kidding. To help us stay busy this week, we, we cooked dinner for our family. We made this delicious, really good curry. Vegan and curry. we ate eating curry and the cake and the icing from scratch. And let's get right into the cooking. The challenge for this week's oh, yeah. um, video is to find as many cakes as you can. Um, comment down below the number you find. This week, we also talked to the CEO of the Greater Chicago Food Depository, Kate Mayer. Take a look! Hello! Hello! Thanks for joining us today. Um, and well, today, me and Abby will ask you three questions. Okay. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> well, we're excited to have you. Yay! Well, um, so our first question is, as the CEO of the Greater Chicago Food Depository, um, what are you doing to serve your community during this COVID crisis? Well, that's a, that's a, um, it's a really good question, and I like talking about it because I think right now in the COVID crisis, a lot of people are worried about our neighbors. And so what we are doing every day at the Greater Chicago Food Depository is we have been working to get food out all across the community to food pantries and soup kitchens and to programs that serve our neighbors so that when people are hungry, they have a place to go to get groceries. And one of the things that's been really hard about the COVID-19 crisis is that we have a lot more people who are hungry. We've seen a huge increase in the number of people who need food. So we have had to get a lot more food out to a lot more places so that families can have food to eat when they need it. Yeah. yeah. Because food is very important. You, like, you can't last very long without eating. So yes. you have that. That is, that is so right. It is, it is like, I think it's the most important thing. And it doesn't matter, like, where you live or what you do. Every single human being and every living thing needs food. And a lot of people were caught in the COVID-19 crisis, they lost their job or somehow they lost the money that they needed to buy food. And so they're having to turn to food pantries, which is really sad. But the good news is there is an amazing network of community organizations in every one of our neighborhoods that have powerful food pantries that make sure that people have food to eat yeah because i mean like that's very important because if like we couldn't get food we'd be starving because me and abby doing this because we're home all day and stuff we eat all day <laughs> we're just always hungry now yeah now we just so make snacks and can you imagine if you didn't have food? Like, how, like you would be so grumpy. I would. <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd be hangry. <laughs> You'd be hangry. Yeah. That's right. So that's what we're doing. We're making sure that people are not hangry all across this community. That's very important, or else people would be on the street going crazy and being hangry. Yeah. Okay. And then the second question is. With the census, wait, with the COVID crisis going on, is the census still important? Yeah, so I 
man, you guys, that, I wish everyone was asking me that question. question. So the census is super important. And one of the things that I worry about is that the COVID-19 crisis is going to make it harder for people to get counted. And the reason it's so important for people to get counted is that the census is the tool that we have that makes sure that we are supporting and representing everybody in our community. So you guys probably know this, but maybe some of your viewers don't. Among the things that the census does is it helps us figure out how many members of Congress we should have, how many dollars should come in for really important programs, programs that support children, schools, food for hungry people. And if we undercount, if we miss people and say that we have fewer people than we actually do, that means we're not going to have enough resources to take care of everybody who needs them. And we're also not going to have enough people in Washington, D.C. who are fighting for all of the programs and services that we need here in Illinois. That reminds, so it's super important. That reminds me of like um, at, when we were at school, we would have to like draw attendance. We'd have to say if we were um, like buying a lunch from school. Or if we were bringing a lunch from yeah. home. It was very important that you did move your name. That if way, you didn't, then either you were not at school or you just won't have a lunch. Yeah, because um, like the lunch ladies, they have to know how much food in order to make. It. And in order to like do that, yes. we have to move our names. And we have That's to be counted a- for it. That's a great example. And and so if you don't get counted, you're going to lose out. Yeah, and, exactly. and, your parents, and your parents might get worried about you because that's also your, your, your attendance. They're going to say, like, why aren't my kids at school? Yeah. They're, your parents are going to get worried about you. Again, you might get hangry because you might not get a meal. And how uh, you focus when you're, like, hungry? hungry? Yeah, you know what? I'm so glad you said that because that's absolutely right. The when when a child doesn't have a meal, not only do they get hangry, but it gets really hard to pay attention in school. And what if that's the day that you're learning a really important thing in math? Oh, oh so, um, that's happened uh, to me before. I forgot my snack and I was starving. <laughs> Exactly. So, so the census is so important, but you can understand why it's really hard at a time when people are sick and we've all had to stay at home trying to get the word out and make sure that people get counted. It's gotten really complicated. Well, that sounds complicated, but our third question is, um, how has this COVID crisis affected your family? Well, uh, so a couple of ways. Um, let me start with a, with a happy way. I have a very old, very lazy dog. <laughs> and he, his name is Hoops. Um, Hoops hates to exercise. Um, but I actually feel like He's coming, he's sort of turning a a new page and um, we have taken, we've taken him out for so many walks that he's finally, I think he's lost a couple of pounds and I think he's a little bit fitter. So that's all good news. I Um, think that happened to Denny because our cat, Denny, he was the laziest cat in the entire world. We just pick him up to like move him. Yeah, we could like. Put him down in at like seven o'clock in the morning. We just sit there, right? And yeah, by the, nine o'clock. Yeah, he'll be just all day. Yeah, it's just like it had to happen. But the the good news is we're, we've just been so um, consistent in saying, okay, we're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna take the dog, so that's good. I have two sons. One is in college, and he had to come home from college and 
finish his semester uh, at home. And I have a, my younger son is a senior in high school. And that was kind of sad because he's an athlete and he was excited about his spring sports season and that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And he was excited about going to prom and that didn't happen. And he was excited about being with his best friends who he, he has gone to school with for all these years and then he couldn't see them. And then he was supposed to have a big graduation and now that hasn't happened. So it's been really, it's been kind of sad, but he's also like the most positive kid you've ever met. And he just keeps, keeps saying, you know, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. So it's affected my kids. Um, it's also, this is, uh, it's been hard for me because I have a mom who lives in a different state and she's, she's, um, she has a disease that, um, uh, makes it hard for her to remember things. And I haven't been able to see her in person because she lives in a nursing home. And that's been really sad because when I call her, she doesn't always remember who I am. And so that's been a really sad part of everything that's happened. But I'm hopeful that as soon as they let me visit her, that she'll remember me again. Yeah. yeah, I cannot live without my mom. If she I moves, know. It, if she moves to a different state, I will follow her. I will sneak in the back of her car if I have to. I will follow her. I can't That's live without my daddy. Oh, aren't the yeah. two of you so sweet? Yeah, she's a dad's daddy. girl. I'm a mom's girl. That's just how it works. It's good. You got them, You got both your bases covered. That's awesome. I yeah, feel like Daddy, he's walking on the floor. Yeah. Well, um, we have one more thing we would like to do for you. So okay. We prepared a song. Can we sing it for you? Yes, please. going to put you on a talk show so that you can come and sing and also answer questions you guys are fantastic but that would be fun i it would be fun one day i hope to not be the host and to someday <laughs> and to someday be the guest i don't i don't 
I don't want to, I don't want to talk. <laughs> Who want to answer? Yeah. I have to say, just based on what I've seen, I think that, I think it's in the cards. I think someday you very well might be the guest. I hope. I hope fun. I am to, 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 to the Ellen show, because I want to yeah. be a singer. I want to be, I want to be a singer. Yeah, I want to be a neurologist, an audiologist, and an oncologist. <laughs> I'm getting three doctorate degrees. And both, and all three of them are in doctor stuff that I don't understand. Yeah, she doesn't even understand the word of the job. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> well, bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye, guys. Let's Thanks for it. asking me. This was awesome. No problem. Have a great day. Have you a have day. a great day, too. Bye. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next week's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you get notified when we post a new video.